Video Essay New concept, putting a thought piece into video format. Let us know if you'd like to see more of these. Anyway, onwards with the video. As we've previously established, linked below, childhood obesity is a growing epidemic, not just in the Caribbean region but worldwide. We've also previously talked about the metabolic syndrome. So let's put that all together, and into perspective. The Caribbean region is amongst those with the highest mean body mass index, BMI, for the age groups 5 to 9 and 10 to 19 years worldwide. This is thought to be due to low levels of physical activity and large imports of processed foods slash beverages. Obesity is a major health problem, especially when it presents as the metabolic syndrome, the collection of abdominal obesity, dyslipidemia, hypoglycemia, and hypertension. Obesity is associated with a decreased life expectancy. The metabolic syndrome further causes a twofold increase in the risk of coronary artery and cerebrovascular disease. In Trinidad and Tobago the combined percentage of overweight and obese school children has been steadily increasing from 12% in 2001 to 51% in 2018. Corresponding with a notable decline in physical activity, 29% to 20%, and increase in sedentary time, 47% to 49%, from 2011 to 2017. The well-established link between obesity and insulin resistance means that many of these children may have undiagnosed dysglycemia. There is evidence diabetes has a more aggressive course in youth, with patients being unable to maintain control on metformin monotherapy despite adequate compliance. These high rates of childhood obesity are expected to contribute to increasing rates of non-communicable diseases in future. In 2020, 19 million deaths were attributed to cardiovascular disease globally, which amounted to an increase of 18.7% in 2010. In 2020, there were 7.08 million deaths attributable to cerebrovascular disease worldwide, 3.48 from ischemic, 3.25 million from AIDS, and 0.35 million from shock. The workup of such patients is important, embolic phenomenon, as is their recovery afterwards. Rehabilitation, optimization and ultimately prevention is the real target. How can this be done? Simply by effectively managing a multitude of vascular and lifestyle factors, diet, exercise, diabetes slash hypertension slash atrial fibrillation, antithrombotic therapy have all been shown to improve outcomes. All reference materials cited above is linked down below.